we use one of the um, children's DS to practice their spellings. He really struggles with spelling, so we try anything creative to try and get yeah. him to learn his words. Pick toe chat. Yeah, and that means you can just connect two DSs yeah. and talk to each other. Mm. Yeah, I'm often shouting spellings from the kitchen, yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's perhaps a better way to do it. <laughs> So we're just talking about a game on the DS, Flipnote Studio, mm-hmm. um, that Amelia was just playing. Yeah. So uh, how? So that's quite good for the family. Um, well, Amelia does it on her own, and then she shows us what she's been animating, and um, it's a lot of detail goes into it. She draws these amazing pictures and colours them in, and then creates the next one, which is very slightly different, and she creates loads of them, and then she uploads them onto the internet, and yeah. then her, all her friends can see them as well, and mm-hmm. they put music over them and all sorts of fun things. Yeah, I've seen some of them. So by doing that, you, you create an a animation, so you mm. do it cell by cell. Yeah. And that does stuff like it shows you the previous frame. And yeah. So Amelia, how did you come across it? It's a free download on the Nintendo shop, and um, one of my friends got it, and, and she's like a drawy, mad person, um, and uh, she showed me, so I decided I wanted to do it, so we could draw together, and um, we, yeah, you just use the stylus to draw as if you were using a pencil, but you sort of have to choose which colour you're using and stuff. And you were saying that you were just watching someone else's animation... So you, has that been downloaded onto your DS via the internet? You go on Flipnote Hattana on your DSi and you can access other people's profiles where they've got Flipnote and what you can do is you can download them and then you can use their music and the content they've already uploaded and you can make it your own, so delete the fo- images and draw your own to the same track and stuff like that. It, people call it spin-offing. Oh, I see, so you take someone's animation that they've done and then you spin off your own one then you can upload your own one yeah um yeah you go on and you have to choose which channel which is basically you someone makes a grouping on the internet you have to do that through the computer uh and um then you can put your flip notes in that channel so if people are like-minded and they have a channel for things they like then they can go up there and if it, your flip notes posted there they'll see it and maybe they'll watch it which if they like it, they'll give you stars. And, um, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, nice. There's a, there's a new game on the 3DS called Colours. Have you heard of that? It does a similar thing. It's not animation, but it's drawing. But what it does is it records your drawings as you're doing them. So if you, someone, someone will do a, like a really nice piece of art, and then you can watch how it was created. And it may be oh. half an hour's worth of drawing and slowly putting it together. In the same way as Flipnote, they're uploaded mm-hmm. to the website. And then you can, and again, you can give them stars. Mm-hmm. But it sounds great. It's really nice that you can use the DS for more than just playing games. Yeah, yeah well, my, my youngest has just got into realising he can do that with flip, physical flip yeah. books. Oh, right. And gets yeah. notepads yeah. and draws a little stick men oh. or a little bouncing ball. So okay. I've been trying to get him onto this, but I think he's not quite old enough yet. Yeah. He's just turned five. So, oh. um yeah. We we use one of the um, children's DS to practice their spellings mm-hmm. um, because he really struggles with spelling, so we try anything creative to try and get yeah. him to learn his words. Um, so we'll read them out to him and he'll draw them on with his stylus and type them in. Um, another thing we've done is do it by um, instant messaging through the two DSs. Mm-hmm. So one would be one room, somebody would be in the other room and sort of message and say, spell me Philip or whatever. Yeah. And then... They message you back. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea, actually. So it comes with a little messaging package, doesn't yeah. it? Picture chat. Um, and that means you can just connect two DSs yeah. and talk to each other. Mm. Yeah, I'm often shouting spellings from the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> so that's perhaps, perhaps a better way to do it. Yeah, just send them to them. Yeah. Um, and that you can connect DSs between different rooms so the children can doodle to each other as well mm. and send each other messages at night and things like that. When they first both had a DS. Mm-hmm. Night or whatever it was that they were doing this with, um, that was great fun. They the boys in one bedroom's downstairs and the other one's upstairs, and yeah. they had great fun yeah. sending each other messages. Yeah, great. Well, it sounds like you're already using the DSs very creatively, and there are these there's some these new art focus games, mm. so Art Academy and Colors, which maybe would be suitable as well. It's sort mm-hmm. of to take it in a more of a, a proper sort of formal art direction, yeah. and actually give you lessons. So maybe we'll set you up and see how you get on. That'd be great. Thank you. Cool, well, that's all we've got time for this week on Family Gamer TV, but we'll be back with more soon.
Let's go.